Hi, I'm Leslie. And I'm Doreen. Welcome to our recap of 90 Day Fiance. Lots going on this week, and we're going to kick it right off with Kobe and Emily. Okay, we talked about this last week. Don't know how you don't get to see your kid first, and that's fine, but they did the deed. They spent the three night times, together. Three, three times. Three times. Very good. Tick, <laughs> and, tick, uh, tick. And they had a great time. It seemed like they were both totally into each other, and that was all wonderful. And then they get home, and Kobe's crying from the minute he walks to the house, which is totally understandable. I mean, this is a huge moment, and everybody's very happy he for was, him. That was very endearing. They were so sensitive. Like, he just seemed like such a sweet guy in that moment. So I sweet. I actually think he's a sweetheart right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, the next thing I'm about to bring up is is very personal, and I get that everybody does it differently. Me personally, I think you stop breastfeeding at a year, you know, 12, 13 months, that's it. Um, the baby's almost 18 months old, and, you know, as we can see, Kobe's like, I don't want to share those breasts with, with my son, and why are you still breastfeeding? And she gets, like, offended. <laughs> like, I don't understand I was, that. Yeah, I was just like, you know... I mean, you do whatever you want to do, but yeah, it's just knowing you want to be this sexual being, I would think she would have like kind of finished that off by the time he got here, you know, and just like let it. And she said, you know, she said, she's like, he didn't you know. even touch my breast. No wonder why he doesn't want to get smart I didn't, in the yeah, eye. I didn't understand that <laughs> yeah. comment at the time. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah and he, he says he loves the man. He didn't want to get squirted in the eye or he didn't want to drink the milk. Or now I, mean, I get it, now I get it, but yeah. Um... You know, who's, who's going to know what's going to happen, but I can't wait for next week because I'm very curious as to how they come up with that issue, like what they do to solve it. And, uh, you know, hopefully after a couple of days of being with his son, his son will get more comfortable with him and we're going to get to see some really cute yes. daddy pictures yes. with that little yes, baby all, who is you know. so cute. Yeah, but so far, so good, I guess. You know. Fingers crossed. Fingers yeah. crossed for them. Now we're going to go on to Patrick and Thais. I don't know much about these guys. I mean, this is the weightlifter guy that... Yeah, he's cute. Um, how you could have your dream in front of the Olympics and mess it up twice with drugs, I don't understand, but that's a whole oh, different thing. Very either. cute. Um, I get the whole... And his brother lives with him in this house. He sounds like he's very successful and goes to find his roots. And unlike some of the other people that we follow and stuff, he's actually gone to, what is it, like Brazil or something? Like... 20 times. Oh, to go see her. Yeah. To go see so her. They're so they're not together after seven dates. They've had time. Yeah, spent yeah, yeah. lots of time yes. with this girl. Yes. You know, so at least they're coming in, you know, like, like the other one who, who spent seven days or something. Like Correct. they spent a, a good amount of time together. Anyway, she's coming over. It's already has friction with the brother that lives there. And I'm on his side. I can tell you, I'm with Patrick. He's like, you know what? Because she wants like the brother out. And he goes, I don't know where this is going. I love her. I want to marry her. But you know what? Too if early. she leaves, my brother's going to still be there. You hold too, on to that, Patrick. Too early to be starting with the demands. And she she reminded me of Jasmine, yes. the other nut job yes. that wants him to check in and say where he's at. And I'm like, oh, my God. And what are you doing? Who are you with? You can't oh. do that. you got to show me pictures where you're at. Like, And, and no. him thinking it's okay. You know, that is not okay, anybody. If you don't have trust in your relationship, you need to find a new relationship because it's, it's never exhausting. going to go you can't anywhere. Function that way. Oh my God. I, I don't even understand these people. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what's good. You know, to me, again, it's not going to last, but I just don't know how long he's going to deal with that. Like, what is the. Okay, she's attractive. Great. You had great time and together he's in Brazil. Cute. He he's could cute. Find, yeah, he could find. You know, but we'll wait and see what happens there. So on to Jibri. Cara. Oh, you want to do Cara? Okay, Cara and Cara Guillermo. And Guillermo. This little cute young boy. Um, it's little already boy. it's already starting. She is, which I thought right from the beginning, I thought she was too much of like a mother and just that would get old. And sure enough, he's already starting to rebel as any little child would do with her. And they're only six years apart. I mean, she's 29. Girls mature faster than guys, as we know. He's 23, which you might as well be 15. Um, yeah, but just, uh, he wants a computer. Like, you could see he's very naive uh, financially. Well, he may need just... a computer, but again, where's the finances, right? He brought money, and she's like, well, what do you, well, it's my money. Yeah. Uh, like, what but are you she thinking? she was basically telling him what to do, and I could see more of that, and that is going to kill any kind of romance with that dynamic, but. Yeah, you know what, it's really funny, because all of these, even the last couple that we just talked about, like when he was in Brazil and now when she was there, when you're either on vacation or their hometown and like you're the stranger, right? So like Kara and 
you know, uh, Patrick were strangers in these other countries where these people lived. And so they got to see him all the time and they were always with them because you're my link to the country type of a thing. And it's just so funny, the dynamic, how different it is that now they come here and the people who wanted them here to be in control and get married are now kind of like, well, I don't understand. Why am I supporting you? Why am I doing this and that? Like, what did you think? Ah, uh, you know. Anyway, speaking of what did you think? Jibri, right? Is, am I saying that wrong? Jibri and Mionma? Miona? Miona. Miona. Um, another one about, it seems like before she came, they did not define that, hey, we are going to be here for at least a year and, and do this, that, and the other yeah, this thing. This should have all been worked out before she hopped on that plane saying, you know, I mean, South Dakota's rough, but, you know, and she's she's not letting it go. She, she doesn't want to unpack. Like, she's just not letting this go, that she wants out of there and, and you know. And then they cook dinner for the parents, right? That was this episode, right? Yes. Yes. And, yes. and no, offense to people who can't, no offense to people who can't cook. You Thank do you. the best thing. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. No taken. I actually can cook. You can but go. I'm just saying. Um, there's so many recipes, either online or on a book. Like, I always say chicken parm. You really can't do too yeah, much Italians, wrong. Make sure it's cooked. Italian's the way to go, even though that was Italian. That was Italian. But they didn't even try. Like, they didn't even say, let's make pizza homemade pizza let's Maybe just make something even want it to be good well they didn't because they want the yeah. parents because like many children mine included oh i can't do it because then the parents do just it do and you don't have to do it and then exactly do it. Yeah. so with these guys you know it's funny that he was getting so insulted but it's like you've got two people you would think one of the two people would have a brain and come up with something and say all right Let's plan the tacos. How hard are tacos? Oh, you make so the chopped things. meat. That's it. Everything else you just leave on the table. Let them cut it themselves. Like, yeah, and if it doesn't taste good, it's because you didn't put the right stuff in there. Right. Your fault. Like there's so many things that are one and done. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just, it's kind of, I don't blame the parents. Like he, he was getting all insulted. Like, oh, you couldn't even say thank you or try. You have to put hot sauce on. I'm with the parents. Maybe it's because I'm old, you know, and I feel like you need to try harder when you, you, you're getting free room and board and everything else, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm not a fan of hers. I think he could do a lot better. But anyway, on to someone that I kind of like. I do I too. I kind of like. Bilal and Shaida. Yeah. Um, you know, as a couple, they seem fine, but again, you know, what she said, and I was very proud of her, I think this is the first person in... 90 day history that I have been watching for many years now where she actually said I am not getting married until we define and discuss and come to an agreement on the kid thing because I want a kid and he just keeps pushing it off and not saying anything so I was yeah, like good for her good, good for, for her. her you yes. need to work this stuff out I mean it should have been worked out but better late than ever it should have been worked out when they were the fact know. that she came here not having definitive answers yeah. to that is one thing but yeah but you know maybe she figured you know I think you had said this the other day you know if we're together maybe if he loves you me and this think, and that oh, he'll change for me or I'll nobody changes me, yeah. nobody changes ever people if they do it's temporary keep your eyes open yeah we got one more oh we have one Vinny more. and Ariella oh <laughs> yeah I'm not I know not a fan I know um nothing new with them from last week except for a continuation to the airport the sisters you know uh, Ariella stayed away from the sisters Vinny said goodbye um and then she wouldn't let the baby say goodbye she pretended that oh he was asleep or something because she didn't want to give the baby outside in the cold to the sisters that Which was I crappy was kind of it was crappy it was yeah. very mean and it was very childish but you know what the sisters it's your brother who didn't tell you until the day before don't you dare blame her she went along with her husband and said, he doesn't want to tell his family, that's on him. And she said that, and I stand by her side on that. If my husband says, I'm not telling my family until the day before, and I say, babe, I don't that's think that choice. should happen, that's, his, that's choice. his choice. So they they should be mad at him, and they should not be mad at her. They should have apologized to her and said, you know what, you're right, we're really sorry. Yeah, I, I watch them, I, I'm not terribly interested, but I just feel like I miss the history between the sisters and her, so I don't really know I how feel like to they were there, because when she was pregnant, I don't know. yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, but it's obviously no love lost there, and, you know, you feel bad for him, and the little baby that'll miss out on, you know, that family that's yeah. been so far away, but we'll see. Anyway, if you liked our recap, please subscribe and check the notification box. 
and leave us any comments that you have. We love getting your comments and thank you all for them. Yes. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.